will be setting up a UCC1 financing statement and a security agreement. And but it does. Identity. But that's not the chargeback right. process with the Treasury okay. Direct account. If you have a Treasury Direct account, you have a birth certificate with money associated with it. You didn't create any of that. Your crooked, dishonest government did via the people's choice to be ignorant. Are you tracking me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the the uh, reason that we had this foisted upon us is sin. So sin makes people apathetic, complacent, complacent, irresponsible, and there, there you go. After 1865, with the Civil War, and I think about three quarters of a million people killed, that tamed down some of the people, so to speak. You follow me? Yep. And there was a plan in the schools and every system of society, the newspapers. There was a plan. Nothing happens by accident. It's all planned. A yep. plan to screw over the American people. Bit by bit, day by day, they created a plan. And so my question is, why can't God's people create a plan and undo the mass of the evil and the wicked? I yield. We have a lot to overcome. We have to learn to work together. We have to learn to be organized enough to, like they are, but we've been... We have a lot to overcome from what um, we've been trained in, but yep. I think the scripture says we are overcomers. And if Christ ape overcame the world, you know, so can we. So, faith is the victory that overcomes the world, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, Hebrews 11, 1, we talked about that yesterday. So, what, do you, what are people's thoughts and comments about this video? I've seen the Sandy, the Redemption Manual years ago. I think this is actually, I told you guys, I started having dreams about to look up what the real meaning of the Wizard of Oz was. And I think this is one of the first ones I like was just shocked and awe. But then it all made sense. So once you see the truth, you can't turn around anymore. And I think the what we're attempting to do with Thy Kingdom Come Network or TKC.network is to bring all of this stuff in one place together. But instead of just talking about the problem, because I've known about the problem for years, like you said, and Mark Levin and all these, you know, Glenn Beck, lots of them talk about the problems, but nobody is offering step by step how to fix the problem. And I think we're one of the first groups of people like the true disciples that are about our father's business. So I think that the more we bring people and make them aware and offer opportunities of remedy in law, it's going to work. You know, like you said, we only need 35 people per 50 states and we change the world. We just have to find 35 amazingly bright people. We know they're out there. We keep finding them. Antoinette's met just two more. Daryl and I forget the other gentleman's name. Uh, was it Chris or Charles? But I mean, just through connections, we're all networking and we're finding all these bright, shiny people out there that are God's chosen. And when you put them all together, it's like a nuclear explosion. It's very exciting. So I think it's great. May I? And then you make choices, too, because Charlie and uh, Daryl, they're in another assembly. So they're trying, they think they're trying to do what we're doing, but they're doing it another way. And so it is what it is. I yield. May I? May I? Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes go ahead. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, we, already, we, we already have. We're already there. So when I went, when I woke up this morning, I, I just started to think about, you know, what it's like. We've already been successful. There's like lots of people that are interacting with us. Our website's just really rocking it. We're doing well. Um, and I started just, you know, thinking about that. And, um, 
it's it's just my little connection with God every morning. And last night I looked everywhere for a video uh, that and there's lots of them out there that talk about the Wizard of Oz. This morning I, w I woke up after I you know, just sort of put my mindset there that um, this was the first thing I found. And uh, I wasn't even sure if it was the right one, but I, I listened to a little bit of it and I said, okay, this is it. And so that's how it works. If you already believe then something's going to show up. Right. And it's, it, it's, it, we're already there. I know we have obstacles and things like that to overcome, sure. But if we're already there, it's just a matter of, you know, going back and, and, uh, do, and putting it together. We're making that phone call or whatever, but we're already there. And that was also to answer Mary's previous question. You're going to be back and forth. You know, I mean, it, it's just a matter of keep training your brain to believe that, you know, God's, God's promise is already here. It's well just, said, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Absolutely. And it's interesting. The Bible talks about overcomers, redemption, being redeemed in Christ. Um, isn't it's the redemption manual, right? And just, right. just all of it, I, I just totally think it's so interesting, Andy. You were great about like how the, the uh, straw man, the tin man, the tax identification number, and then of course the cowardly lion. And right now, I think people do know or are aware. A lot of people are aware about the straw man and the fraud. They're aware about the tin man, the tax identification number, and how all of this is completely unlawful. But what we need to do is really, really encourage men, especially men in this country, to take back their position as the the man of the house, the provider, oh, the protector. You know, they have to get their kahuna, you know, they got to they got to get strong and courageous again because we need people to rise up. We need the moms to get back with their families and take care of these kids because the kids are the ones suffering because nobody is is raising them up, right? They've been neglected. We were all neglected. We were all raised in front of TV because they started putting our moms into the slave force too. So to resurrect and get it back to God's law and the way he designed life to be, we all have to come back to life. He says, you know, when, it, when he was talking to Nicodemus about, how, well, what do I do to get born again? This is it, you guys. They made everybody singly dead with a stroke of a pen. They made everybody dead. And now we, the new creation coaches, are here to set the captives free. And whether it's teaching them the word of God, the word of Yah, through an agriculture ministry or a mechanic ministry or taking care of old people ministry, farming, whatever it is, you can be the example. And that's how you mentor the young people is hands on doing things, teaching them how to fix the car, teaching them how to plant a garden, teaching them how to do stuff, but you're also mentoring them with all this knowledge as you go. And they feel it because they feel loved, which is most of the kids today are feeling they do not have in their life. Dimitri is sleeping, but so I'm going to share this with you guys. But he told me yesterday, he said, I love being here because just the group of people you hang out with are the most loving people I've ever met in my entire life. And he's 23 years old. So, I mean, that's a huge compliment to all of us, but it's a real testimony of how bad it is, especially in the mainland, that there's just a loveless, and it says that would happen in the end, that people would be cold, they wouldn't have love. So I think not only is our job to educate, we are to show how to mentor and to love again. I yield. Okay, so with that, Sarah, I'm going to... Why don't we go ahead and have a, a conversation? We've got about a half hour before it's our regular two hour talk time that seems to be working for us. Why don't we have a, a conversation about what it, what the second level is? Now that we're it's starting to come to fruition that each and every one of us needs to be some type of coach, some type of minister in order to uh, be... 
be stewardships of our trust because that's a serious thing when you choose to have a trust and you, you know, you're, I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I thought I, I chose possible learning. And, um, okay, you guys, so this is our core group for TKC, thy kingdom come dot network. That'll be coming soon. We're going to be launching beta testing. This is a set, a site to unite y'all, God, the most high people who want to live sovereign, live free, live under the true law. I find it very funny that people go, oh, we don't want to go back under the law, but yet they're all under the legal law less system, which kills, steals, and destroys your very life force essence. So really you do want to be under the law because God's law isn't cruel. It's not kind. He set out his law because it's right ruling so that people prosper and have love in their heart and they don't become drug addicts and abused or become prostitutes in the system. If you set up God's communities correctly all around this country, which really is about common law courts, du jour lawful living and loving one another, get into your community, get involved. You can check out the national-assembly.net, which is where a lot of us are parked at. We're from all over the country, this network, and we're helping assemble the country back to where it needs to be. You guys have been all turned into batteries, just like Morpheus says in the Matrix movie, um, back when they put out the Wizard of Oz movie, um, which we were referring to this morning, it explains. If you guys wanna do a deep dive, go Google search what the real meaning of the Wizard of Oz and they'll tell you how they stole your birthright. If you want your birthright back in Christ and you want to be a, a recipient of living the way, the truth, and the life, if you want to have the kingdom of heaven restored to earth, please call us 808-476-0332. This ministry is a 508-C1A nonprofit, Church Without Walls, Ecclesia Assembly of Saints. It is protected by our constitutional First Amendment of free speech. The 508 is a separation jurisdiction of separation of church and state. We are not a state church. We are not submitted underneath the state church. We are a free and independent people underneath the most high true God, Yah, Elohim, the one that created the Torah and the truth. So if you'd like to learn the way, the truth, and the life, learn how to set up your own private ministry, how to become a part of this amazing network of beautiful souls, living people with a heart, with mind, with blood, with breath. They're all living in the proper jurisdiction for living men and women. You need to get yourself out of commerce and get yourself back to the Most High if you want to live. Praise the Most High. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more, call us 808-476-0332. We have events weekly right here on Oahu as well as online classes and online workshops that are coming up, as well as Airbnb transformation vacation packages available for you to come stay with us in Hawaii, learn all this, get your ministry set up, and go home and change the world in Yeshua's precious name. Hallelujah. Have a great day, and God bless you. Aloha.